Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Okay, so we're going to talk about some other drills that we did. This is Zoe Hines right here from Boston College. If you haven't seen the other videos that I put up, check those out. I put them up uh, a couple of days ago. And so Zoe was able to improve her bat path, her bat speed. She hit the ball 20 feet further in a really short amount of time, only a couple of hours. Increased her exit velocity by a lot. Again, not just her max exit velo, but her average exit velo. She was consistently hitting the ball harder, had better barrel depth, was from the inside more. Her swing just really improved in a short amount of time. This is one of the drills that we did. We did tons of drills uh, while she was working with us, but this is one that we were doing. Uh, this is a full coil drill, so you've probably seen me do this drill before. I do this with a bag. Now, you've definitely, if you watch our channel, you've definitely seen me use a bag. Uh, we'll do this off of the tee. We'll do it off of flips. Here, I'm just using a, a pool noodle, uh, and so I'm just holding that pool noodle, and I'm holding it pretty deep here in the hitting zone because one of the things that Zoe wanted to do is that she wanted to go forward. So when she first started swinging her first swings when she came into the facility she kind of wanted to push forward her swing work this way and then off of the ball and so we're trying to get her to work the barrel deeper so we wanted the barrel to work back this way we wanted to be more from the inside and so i put the noodle deeper in the hitting zone to force her to get her upper body to work more north south get her barrel to work back if she didn't she wasn't going to be able to get this noodle so um, how do we start this position if you haven't seen us do this drill before this is the full coil position so we put our toes forward we go very light on the outside foot we're feeling ourselves get around this right leg so i want to feel basically weightless on my left foot one mistake i see a lot of hitters do is they just have way too much weight over here so that was one thing i was reminding her as we went through this i kept saying make sure that we're we're weightless we're talking 99 percent of our weight on our right leg and maybe one percent on our left leg you're going to take your back pocket and try to turn it towards the pitcher. You're going to close your hips. That's going to get your leg to load back this way. While you're doing that, we're also going to preset the upper body. So we're going to coil the upper body. We're going to pull back at our right arm behind our right hand. We're going to get in good posture with our chest over the plate. Now, on my go, I'm going to say go. When I say go, she is going to feel her upper body work north-south this way right here so we're not going to work forward we're not going to pull out hard to the left we're going to work north south with our upper body we're going to try to get our upper body to get behind our right leg so that is the key everything she's got when i say go she's going to go again north south with the upper body and she's going to feel the barrel turn back with the upper body so her barrel is going to work back her upper body is going to work back she's going to start to go palm up palm down as early as she can she's going to start to turn the knob up. This is going to get the barrel to work from the inside. It's going to start to enter the zone early, right? So again, that's why I have the noodle so far back here. I want to try to exaggerate getting the barrel in the zone early. And now the barrel is going to work slightly up into the hitting zone. She's going to hit the noodle and stop. So I have her doing these swing stops where she's never going to roll her wrists over. She's going to stay palm up with her top hand as long as you can. One thing that she did when she would push forward with her swing, she would push forward, her swing would go forward, down, and then cut across. And she would turn her right hand over really, really early, causing her barrel to exit left, her upper body would go left, she'd be around the ball, she'd hook more balls than she wanted to. Well, if you work on staying palm up and don't roll your wrist over, then it becomes really hard to roll over on the ball. And so, we're exaggerating this palm up, palm down. Again, north-south with the upper body. And no rolling of the wrist. So we just hit the noodle as hard as we can, and then we stop right there. So it becomes like a three-quarter swing. Again, it's an exaggerated swing, an exaggerated drill to really feel being around the right leg. I tell her, pretend like we don't have a left leg. Because again, in her normal swing, what she wanted to do is she wanted to shift forward. So she would move forward again. If you haven't seen her first swing video, go back and check that out. I threw it up not very long ago. But she wanted to get forward. Once you start to shift forward into your left leg too early, everything else wants to go forward as well. You're not able to turn the barrel deep. You're not able to work your body north-south. And so by doing these 
full coil drills where again you can see she's weightless as she starts to turn she has no weight on her left leg anymore and so that's just giving her an exaggerated feel of staying around that right leg and when you do that you're able to go again north south with your upper body you're able to turn the barrel back you're able to get palm up palm down all the things that we're looking for so i'll play a couple of these in regular speed and do that again And so she was already a really explosive athlete, but again, her bat speed jumped super quick. We made these adjustments, and all of a sudden, she's hitting the ball so much further with more consistently to the m middle of the field with better spin, so her barrel was from the inside more, where her first, you know, when we got her in the hit tracks at the beginning, it was more rollovers, it was more round the ball, more balls hit on the ground. She wasn't able to drive the ball as much in the air, and then all of a sudden, a few hours later, she's hitting home runs, not that home runs are the be-all, end-all, but she was able to drive the ball. She was able to get the ball in the air a little bit more. And again, her exit speed was so much higher, consistently higher, over and over again, striking balls really, really well. So again, that's just another drill that we did. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want to check out this drill along with like 50 others that we have, you can go to the description box down below. We have our Building the Elite Swing course down there. We've already had like I think 1,200 people purchased that course. So definitely go and check that out. And that's all we have. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.